Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are all doing extremely well. Now I just woke up and it's about 6, 6.30 a.m. So everybody is still sleeping so that's a problem. <laughs> so that's why I had to come outside to start today's video but I don't care that. So what do I want to do today? I want to continue formatting the book today but I also want to try different um, cameras to vlog because I'm always using the GoPro and I don't know necessarily if that's the best way to vlog so I want to try a smartphone the front facing camera as well as the the rear shooting camera and then we'll see if that's better than the GoPro and then after that I want to see if the DSLR can actually vlog so yeah that's going to be interesting oh and I'm also going to try TikTok today alright so this is what vlogging looks like on a smartphone I'm currently using my Galaxy S7 on a monopod and it's using the front facing camera but the front facing camera is also 1080p so I think it look I think it looks alright you just have to kind of hold it far out like this but I, I think it still looks good but the GoPro has a wider field of view but, it's, but the quality is better on uh, the smartphone. Alright guys, same test but this time with the rear facing camera also at 1080p. Um, I think the quality is going to be amazing on this rear camera but the field of view is still quite narrow. So you kind of have to stretch out your arm like this and it's going to be very unpractical I think. But the quality is going to be insane but I think I still prefer the GoPro because the mic is also I think just a little bit better on the GoPro okay so this is the test that people are probably most curious about I'm now using my DSLR which is a 650D on a Voyager T200 uh, tripod it's basically a flexible tripod and the shutter speed is at 60 with a uh, aperture at f-stop 3.5 with ISO on auto so right off the bat the field of view is also not that big but I think it's um, it makes your face look kind of good if the field of view is not too wide I don't know about the quality I think the quality is going to be okay but uh, yeah let me guys know which one you prefer out of the four we tasted Okay, so which one of these cameras is going to be the best for YouTube? The GoPro, your phone, or the DSLR? The number one tip I can give you is that I firmly believe that it's not the hardware that is going to make you successful on this platform. Because it really doesn't matter with what camera you are going. Because every camera sacrifices something, whether it be the weight, or the quality. Every camera has advantages and its disadvantages. Now the GoPro is easily my number one pick if you are a beginner because it's so incredibly user friendly. It's compact, you just press the big red button and off you go. Now the GoPro has many features that makes it a great camera for vlogging. The number one feature being the focus is fixed because remember the GoPro is a action camera. Now this is a good thing because when you are vlogging you will never have to worry about about the camera focusing all the time, the camera being out of focus, things like that. The focus is fixed. Compared to the other cameras, the GoPro is also the most value for money at just $215. So for just $215, you are getting exceptional video quality, a built-in microphone, and a camera that is rugged and also waterproof up to 11 meters. Now you can't say that about the DSLR now, can you? Speaking of the DSLR, let's talk about that. I can't actually show you the DSLR because I'm recording. Let's say this is the DSLR. Now the one and only reason that you will get the DSLR over the GoPro is a superior video quality and also full control. So the obvious drawback of the DSLR is going to be its size and its weight. It's really not all that suitable for vlogging, trust me, I tried. But if you insist on using a camera like a DSLR for vlogging, I advise you get a mirrorless camera, so that gets rid of all the, the weight of a DSLR, and then you will need a wide angle lens, so that your face isn't as smushed into the camera. And then you will also need to make sure that that uh, wide angle lens has an STM motor, so that the camera does not pick up the sound of the camera's focusing. But these big cameras cameras like the mirrorless and the DSLR are really just for enthusiasts. And then last but 
but not least your mobile phone. Now the good things about your phone is fairly obvious. I mean, it's always with you. The video quality is excellent and it's also very practical. Now the phone might look like a nice option on paper, but in reality it has the same drawback that the DSLR has, which is that the phone suffers from an extremely narrow field of view. You will have to hold your phone all the way out like this. Now this problem can be solved by using a lens kit but then it also is starting to get less practical. So to conclude I really think the GoPro is going to be the most suited camera for the vast majority. Though if you want to make videos like this one then you will have to get a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so that's it for today's video. If you are going to pick one up, let me know which one you are going to buy. Press like if you enjoyed, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Everybody needs love. They think they need money. Everybody wants time. They think it's a diamond. Oh, you never need likes. To feel like somebody. And you never need hearts.